and welcome back everyone to not some developments and today we're making a simple zoom and aim function so when you aim a pistol for example it zooms in this much and then when you aim a sniper rifle it will zoom a lot more it is custom and you can change it for any gun you want set to a different value and obviously this is for fps games for this tutorial i'm using this amazing open source game that i released last week for all of you guys you can just go ahead and watch this video in the top right corner go ahead and download this so you already have this fps base of a game which you can apply this tutorial to this tutorial is going to be in two parts one me showing just a general script that will zoom the same amount for everything and then a custom one which will obviously be tailored to different guns if you like this video please like subscribe at a thousand subscribers i'm giving away five thousand robux to five lucky people so if you want to be one of those lucky people go ahead and subscribe before it's too late if you have any problems or questions obviously you can just comment or um message me in my discord and i will be glad to help you out so let's get into the video and for this tutorial you're going to have two options first one is going to be a lot simpler and will work with any game no matter um what it is an fps an rpg doesn't matter it will work the same for every single game and then the second one is going to be custom for every gun so let's go ahead and scroll down to starter player go ahead and open the starter player scripts click plus add a local script and just go ahead and rename this to something like i don't know zoom and aim clear out everything you see here so get rid of that go into the description below this video and then you're going to see zoom in code go ahead and copy all of that go back to your game and then just paste it in and i'm going to click it quickly go over on how to use this so first of all you have the on input so when input begins this is where you're going to get so we change our field of view to 40 so we zoom in to where only 40 degrees is visible which is making our camera look like it's zooming in a lot closer and then this is the speed at which we zoom in then higher this number is then smoother or slower you will get from the original 70 to 40 so this basically means that in order to change from 70 to 40 it's going to take half a second which is what i find the best and then this is just your original which you play at when you're not clicking anything is field of view of 70 and then it returns to this from a naming position in 0.3 seconds now this is your mouse that triggers this action which is the mouse button 2 which is the right button on your mouse so when you click aim it will obviously do this function for example if you want it to be something else lucky for you guys i changed an alternative input command so let's say for example instead of this being activated by the mouse you wanted it to be the letter z on your keyboard you would just take this copy it and paste it instead of this command and then it would work with the letter z instead of the mouse button too so now let's go ahead and quickly test it out go back to the game click play and if we click aim as you can see it will zoom in and out as we click and release the button the reason this was the obviously the easier part of the tutorial is because it will zoom in the same exact amount for whatever you're holding and you really don't want something like a sniper to have the same amount of zoom as a pistol because that's just weird so in the second half i'm going to show you how to actually make a custom amount of zoom per gun that you have equipped and in order to do this i will be using this game that we made in my fps tutorial series you can view a playlist for that right here or i've actually open sourced this game so you can just download it and use it to learn which i will also link in the top right corner or in the description below this video so let's get into a little bit of a more complicated custom part it's still easy but it's a little bit more work and first of all obviously you're going to go ahead and disable the 
script zoom a name if you made it from the first half of the video if you didn't just don't worry about it close this you're not going to need it two of these do not affect each other at all unless you play both of them at the same time now go ahead and open up your framework client script and we're just going to edit it a little bit if you go into the description of this video and open up actually the custom zooming code you're going to just simply add these three parts to your framework client so and as you can see, I already have line markings to where all of these parts should go. So I'll copy this one, line five, paste that in. That goes right there. And if you see these like red stuff right here, that's because of the Google Docs when you paste. Sometimes it looks a little weird. So go ahead and just delete if you see the little error lines. And also, for some reason, if you paste from Google Docs, sometimes it, like, stretches out and leaves these spaces. So, my line markings might be a little bit off, especially for the second and the third one. So, go ahead and, as well, copy this one. Go back to your game. Scroll down to, I think it was, like, 431. So, line 4. So, actually, instead of 431... You're going to put it right before or like run service, run your step connect function. So right after it says HUD right here. So that would be line 450 actually. Go ahead and just paste that in and go ahead and again delete these two markings. So get rid of that and then get rid of this. And basically this is just the code that when you click mouse button 2 it sees the input right here and then it searches the um, framework module aim of field view which is in your modules folder so basically what this does is it opens up your um where is it server replicated storage modules your gun scripts so for example let's do a case for, uh, 74 it's going to open this up and look for the aim field of view which is the last component that we have to paste in so right here copy that go back to your game and this is very important for every single gun that you have in your game or in your modules folder every single one you're going to paste that line into so paste remove the two marks and then just repeat it for every gun you have And this is the part where you're going to set the custom values for whatever gun that it is. So if my STZ Dragunov is a sniper, I probably wanted to zoom in really close. So that should be set to about 20 because that is very close. And then I would do for like AK-74, I'd do like 50 and then Desert Eagle. I know it's kind of like a one tap gun so I think you want it to be kind of like a sniper so I'd set it to like 40 a little closer than the AK maybe and then the 5.7 I would just set to 50 but again the bigger this number is then further the object will look from which where you are so for a sniper you'll make it a lot smaller than for a rifle now let's go ahead and actually test it out so go ahead and play the game now for the AK you see it zooms into about field of view of 50 and for something like a sniper it's going to zoom in real close to where your field of view is only the angle of 20 degrees so as you can see for this it will do that for this it will do that so wherever whatever your custom thing is set to that's what it's going to zoom into so take this guy out from close and then zoom in real close and snap that guy off the roof so that's how you make a custom zoom in for your games. It is very simple. If you have any problems or errors, go ahead and let me know either in my Discord server or in the description below this video. And if you like this, obviously, like, subscribe. Uh, at a thousand followers, subscribers, I'm giving away 5,000 Robux to five lucky people. So a thousand Robux per person. If you want to be a part of that, go ahead and subscribe. Join my Discord, and um, if you have any other video ideas, just go ahead and let me know down below, and I will make sure to make it probably by next Saturday.
and see you in the next one.